groups make it easier to manage and apply customizations to multiple listings. Let's walk through the steps in creating and editing groups in the Customizations page. Click on the Dynamic Pricing tab in the top bar, then choose Customizations from the drop-down menu. Next, go to Groups and click on the Create Group button. In the pop-up, enter your desired group name, then click the Create button. All existing active groups will be displayed in this section. To edit a group, click on the Edit button on the right side of the group. In this window, you will have access to the group level minimum stay restrictions, smart presets, the general settings where you can modify the group name, seasonal and minimum price settings, and advanced group customizations. After making your changes, click on the Save Changes button on the lower right side of the screen. You can also access more settings by clicking the three dots button on the main page. Clone Group allows you to duplicate the group. Delete Group allows you to delete the group from the list. A pop-up will appear if the group is currently applied to any listing. Sync Now initiates a manual sync for all listings in the group. Show Overrides will display all group-level date-specific overrides. Refresh Listings in Group initiates a manual save and refresh for all listings in the group. Show Listings in Group opens a window that displays all the listings in the group. Finally, the Download CSV Prices option allows you to export all rates for all listings in the group in a CSV file format. Now let's move on to adding listings to a group. We can do this in three ways, and we'll go through each method. The first method to apply group customizations to a listing is through the Manage Listings page. From the top bar, choose Dynamic Pricing, then choose Manage Listings from the drop-down menu. On this page, you can go to the Unmapped Listings section if your listings are unmapped. If your listings are mapped, you can go to the Mapped Listings section. Or if your listings are combined, you can go to the Combined Listings section. From here, just look for the Customization Group column, then choose the customization group that you would like to add to the listing. We can also apply group customizations to a listing through the Review Prices page. Choose Dynamic Pricing from the top bar, then choose Pricing Dashboard from the drop-down menu. From this page, choose the listing that you would like to add to the group and then click on the Review Prices button. Then navigate to the right side of the Review Prices page to find the Group Customization section. Click on the drop-down to select the group you'd like to apply to your listing, then click the Save and Refresh button to save your changes. And that is how you apply group customizations on the Review Prices page. We can also apply group customizations to listings from the Multi-Calendar page. Choose Dynamic Pricing from the top bar, then choose Multi-Calendar from the drop-down. On this page, locate the Customization Group column and choose the group you want to apply to your listing. To recap, you can add listings to groups from the Manage Listings page, the Review Prices page, and the Multi-Calendar page. We hope that helps. Thanks for watching.